This manly reference cardioid review is brought to you in part by Zounds.com. Let's dive into it right now. All right, we have the manly reference cardioid mic. This is the holy grail of uh, voiceover microphones. So let's explore it and let's take a look at it. So this is going to be your higher end price point before you start going into those classic uh, microphones that are collector's items in your $4,000, $5,000, six, seven, eight, and up $10,000 range microphones. This is a modern uh, sound. It's very crisp and very punchy. This is the microphone the late uh, Don LaFontaine liked to use. Uh, I like to use it too. Pretty much all of my videos on TikTok are done uh, through the Manly, um, and I just like how it cuts through and how it sounds coming out of uh, phones, especially because that's how most people are going to be watching uh, this sort of video. It has a really uh, present sound. Again, it's going to be a, a very expensive microphone at $3,700. And uh, so we can kind of get into it a little bit and you could take a look at it. So let me move this windscreen out of the way. Uh, this is a Jay-Z pop filter, by the way, and you can see it has a very cool design on it. But uh, it is a very, put my hand here, uh, it is a large microphone. It is a, compared to this warm audio here, I'll step back, and you can see how much bigger it is. It's a very tall, somewhat skinny microphone. Comes in this very cool built-in shock mount. This is one unit. They're together with these cool, um, with these cool springs to kind of get that shock effect. And this just screws right, right there onto your onto your mic stand. So it's very uh, cool looking, very sturdy, and uh, we can get into some reads on it. And I think it sounds fantastic. This is what you think broadcast audio should sound like. Um, as far as a less expensive version of this, I don't know one to exist. Like other companies clone other companies and things like that. Um, you know, like, you know, you have your, you know what I mean? But for this, I don't think that exists. If you want this, you got to pay for it. So let's try a trailer on it or just uh, we'll just do some sort of voiceover into it. And let's lower this pop filter so I don't so I can get up on it. Um, get your authentic, get your authentic NHL gear at shopnhl.com as official as official gets. So you can hear that really nice kind of punchy, crispy uh, you know, frequent, frequency response. This is going through my Avalon 737 uh, preamp. So you're, it's a very expensive sound that we've built here. You know, you're, you're up into your almost $8,000, $9,000 range of, of electronics that's happening. Um, let's do something super conversational. Um, Giddy trade. Here you go. Uh, let's begin. We don't have a lot of time. Yes or no? Do you want do you want a trading platform that's web optimized for multiple web browsers and tablet devices? Do you want 495 stocks? $1.50 futures contracts? 50 cent options contracts? What about a dedicated service team of trading specialists? Did you say yes? Good. Then it's time for Power E-Trade. So you can see that kind of quick, quick, uh, snappy kind of commercial sound, which works really, really nice on this microphone. Uh, we can get into something uh, deeper, like a... A promo or uh, here we go, something like this. This will work. New this fall, an American legend returns to paradise. Magnum PI, new CBS this fall. So I can see why Don liked this because that range, that voice range, this thing just grabs it and runs with it. Um, you know, I I I li really 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 like the sound. Definitely pr pr promo broadcast ready. Um, and let's see here. Let me. Let's speaking of which, let's grab let's grab a trailer. Um, <clears throat> see what it sounds like on that. If I can find one. Uh, here we go. Some uh, weird, weird trailers. Here we go. Here's a straight, a straight drama. She traveled to the most dangerous places on earth to risk her life for the truth. From the producers of Sicario and Wind River, based on a true story, the greatest weapon is truth. A private war rated R. A private war, rated R, rated R. Yeah, so you can kind of go with that nice flat mid-range tone here. 
Let's go a little softer. She traveled to the most dangerous places on Earth to risk her life for the truth. From the producers of Sicario and Wind River, based on a true story, the greatest weapon is truth. A private war, rated R. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to see if there's something a bit more... Here we go, a bit more wacky. From the director of Girls Trip and the producers of Ride Along, to get his life back, he's gotta get his school on. Kevin Hart, Tiffany Haddish, Night School, coming soon. Yeah, so overall, uh, it's a gorgeous microphone. It's a big microphone. You would need, I had this in my booth before, and it was, it dominated a good amount of space. Uh, here, uh, and the room is uh, about 12 by 12. It's larger. So, uh, and in my booth, I was getting a boxiness from it because it was in, it was in like a four by four booth space. And then with the foam, it was, you know, maybe three and a half feet. So I did have to dial off the base with my, uh, in the EQ with my Avalon, which I did. Um, but in a room like this, I say this would probably, probably be an ideal size for a microphone like this. I don't feel like I'm getting any sort of un, like weird bounces or any sort of frequencies. I'm, I'm feeling like, and I'm, I'm actually talking pretty quick or pretty far off of it. I'm, you know, uh, you know, thumb to pinky finger off the, uh, the pop filter. Then there's another two inches, uh, behind that. So I've got plenty of distance. I'm not all up on it right here. And even so, I don't feel that it gets too, it gets right. If you get like right on it, it gets kind of, you know, bassy, but that just in the zone, it does give you a lot of cardioid room to play with. This it does not have multiple polar patterns. This is a fixed cardioid microphone. This is a vocalist microphone. This is for someone, um, for singing and, and voiceover and you know guitar playing or anything that's going to happen right in front of a microphone you're definitely miking something up um made here in chino hills california and uh, i actually took this to them and I had, they serviced it about a year ago uh fresh tube and you, i just took it to them and they they polished it all up for me and uh, replaced anything that needed to be replaced on it and um it is a uh, just a stellar workhorse for, for voiceover application. Again, $3,700, you're, you're you know, invested pretty well into your career at this point. So this is definitely not a beginner's microphone. This is something you work your way up to to re reward yourself for you know a ha a booking all those past jobs and reinvesting in yourself. Um, do you need a, th a, a fancy microphone like this to do well in voiceover? No. Is it a nice reward and to, to hop into the studio and kind of see a reflection of your your past successes? Absolutely. Um, that's kind of what this represents is that you are now working at a certain level where you can work, uh, have to ha afford to have gear like this because you also need to have a preamp and you also need to have everything that goes with operating uh, a manly microphone. But, you know, uh, critics and audiences agree. Critics and audiences agree. It's just got such a classic, rich broadcast sound. Uh, so, uh, 